Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at chapter 6 from the Road to Latin textbook and go over the grammar exercises just to make sure that you're on the right track for them. Now before we dive too far into it, like I always tell you, if you want to see more information about the grammar, um, my notes, videos, things like that, take a look at my site. You can find um, just things that might help you beyond the actual Road to Latin textbook. They're always there for you. Um, so feel free to use them. The other thing I'd say is before you dive into these grammar exercises, make, make sure that you've really read through the notes and you've practiced it a little bit um, by reading the story, right? When you read the chapter stories, you get uh, a good amount of this grammar in context, which is really the best way to do it. So you want to do that first and make sure that you feel really comfortable and then come back and kind of use these grammar exercises as a double check just to make sure that you're on the right track. OK, so if you haven't done that yet, go do it. Otherwise, let's go through them and I'll explain it as we go, just so you can have sort of a check against your own work. OK, so number one goes like this. You have tabernae pulchri. Um, then you have uh, the word famina and romana with blank. So you have famine blank and roman blank. Sunt gratae. Now here in this chapter, we're talking about dative case. And we're learning how the dative case goes with certain adjectives. One of them is grata, right, which means pleasing. So here the answer is going to be feminae romanae. And the book tells you to use the singular form um, of the dative for these two blanks, which is an ae, because you're saying the beautiful shops are pleasing to the romanae. Roman woman, singular. So that's why you're using the AE. Um, and it's dative singular because it's going with grata, right? You have to be pleasing to someone or to something. Okay. And number two, you have taberna wheel blank, tulia non est proxima. So proxima is another word that takes the data, right? You would be near to someone or, or nearby to something. So here, again, it's singular um, because tulia only has one house. So the word, uh, the blank is on the word wheela, meaning house. So you're going to put wheelai, which is the date of singular ending. So you're saying the shop is not near to the house of Tulia or not near the house of Tulia. There's a couple ways you can translate it, but it's dative because it's going with Proxima and it's going to be singular because she only has one house. Okay. In number three, you have Dei Femin Blank, Semper Sunt Cara. So here we have Cara, which means dear. And again, it takes a dative because you're dear to something. Now here you want the plural ending. So it's going to be Feminis, right? To the women. So you're saying the goddesses, Dei, are always dear to the women, meaning the women, the Feminis in this uh, example, they always really like and appreciate the goddesses, right? So that's what it means by being dear to them. And you're just using the, the dative plural because um, the textbook told you to use the plural ending on this. One. Okay. In number four, you have coronae de blank sunt gratae. <clears throat> now here, uh, gratae again, pleasing. You're going to be pleasing to something. You're looking for the plural. And dea, goddess, is one of those words that doesn't use the is ending in the dative plural. It uses the alternative of abus. So it's going to be corona de abus, right? Sunt gratae. So you're saying garlands or the garlands or the crowns, however you want to do it are pleasing to the goddesses. And remember, this is talking about the floral um, crowns that the, the women would put on the statues. So now you have number five, and you have Italia Cretae non est proxima. So again, it's Crete, Crete, right? Um, the AE ending there uh, is because Crete is one island, so you're not gonna have more than one Crete, so it won't be plural. And you have that special adjective, proxima, which means near, and you have to be near to something. So you're saying Italy, Italia, is not near to Crete right? Um, which I guess it's all relative, kind of true, but Crete is the island um, just south of Greece. So yeah, sure, Italy wouldn't necessarily be um, considered close to it. Now you have number six, you have insulae magnae, itali blank, sunt proximae. So your subject is the insulae magnae, right? The large, uh, the large islands, rather. They are proximae, they're near to Italy. Again, there's only one Italy, so it's going to be singular. So the date of singular form is Italii, right? The large islands are near to Italy, which is true. You have Corsica, um, Sardinia, you have um, Sicily there. So there's a lot of our, uh, large islands there. In number seven, you have Italia, Femin blank, Roman blank, est cara, right? So you're saying Italy is dear, cara, right? Italia est cara. And remember, dear, you have to be dear to something. Um, and the book is telling you on number seven to go plural. So it's going to be feminis romanis, right? Italy is dear to the Roman women, meaning they really like Italy. And then you have the last one, number eight. You have feminae, um, fili blank, semper sunt cara. Okay, so your subject again is feminae, the women, they are always dear, right? So feminae semper sunt cara, right? The women are always dear to the daughters, right? So you have the word philia here, um, daughter. 
Uh, philia is another one like Dea that's going to use the alternative ending of Abbas. So it's going to be Philiabus to the daughters. And again, I put there in parentheses because even though it doesn't necessarily say their daughters, that's really what it's talking about, right? It makes more sense for this to be their own daughters and not uh, that they're dear to other people's daughters. That'd be kind of weird. So you're saying women are always dear to their daughters, Philiabus. Okay, so that's it for this exercise. Again, it's just getting you to practice the grammar, which is about um, special adjectives that always take the dative case. If you were stuck on any of these, um, feel free to put a comments be uh, comment below and I'm happy to help explain it a little more. But otherwise, just if you do get stuck, go back and look at the grammar notes, right? It'll explain everything to you. You can practice a little bit and you should be okay. You don't want this to be the only practice you do. Remember, you wanna read the chapter stories. And at the bottom, if you're using my website, you can see a link to Magistrula, which will give you a lot of practice problems. Um, it's already linked, click it, and it's set up to do a lot of date of case, which will help you out too. But one way or another, you want to keep